Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I thought in today's video I would just do a brief overview of what is Chromium. Because you hear me talk a lot on this channel about when I'm referring to, you know, different Chromium web browsers. You hear me talk a lot about it's based on Chromium or it's based on the open source Chromium platform and so on. And that is when I'm re talking about and referring to, you know, browsers like Google Chrome, Brave, Microsoft Edge, Vivaldi, Opera, just to mention some of the more popular Chromium web browsers out there today. Now this is the actual Chromium web browser and you could basically call this the mothership of all the other Chromium web browsers out there. And at first glance it looks just like Google Chrome and the first difference you can see is obviously it has the blue icon as opposed to the standard, you know, um, standard color theme of Google in the Google Chrome icon. Now, what is Chromium? Chromium is an open source and free web browser that is managed by the Chromium project. And this is the Chromium project's website and where you can go and find out a little bit more about what they are doing. And also you can learn how to, you can, you know, other important links where you can view other documentation, some blogs, and then other sections here where you can get involved and you can help with testing and you can get other versions and you, yeah the one we're talking about today where you can download the latest trunk build of chromium so chromium is an open source free and free web browser and open source and free means that the software developers are allowed to change the source code but apparently only the chromium project development community's trusted members are permitted to do this now chrome and we are talking about the standard Google Chrome, which many of us use and are aware of. Now, Chrome, on the other hand, is also based on Chromium, but the developers have further included their proprietary code uh, to the source code of Chromium. So basically what they are saying is that uh, Google Chrome has numerous features that are absent in Chromium. For example, it installs updates automatically and supports additional video formats and also obviously Google has put a little bit more Google into the Google Chrome web browser as well as opposed to the standard Chromium web browser. Now how can you download Chrome, Chromium? The simplest and safest way is to download Chromium from the download page of Chromium. So this is what I'm talking about, the latest trunk build. And it takes you to, this is a raw board of Chromium for Windows 64 bit, which I'm running right off the trunk. So that means it's bleeding edge and it may be tremendously buggy. So you don't, you're not going to want to use this as your, your main go-to web browser. It's mainly used for testing and experimenting. And as I said, it's bleeding edge. Consider Chrome Canary or Dev Channel for a build that regularly auto updates to latest. And then, yeah, this is the... Uh, the link where you can download the latest trunk build from and what it does is it downloads it as a zip file to your PC to your hard drive and then you just ex extract the zip file and you actually run the Chromium web browser straight from the file it doesn't get installed on your PC so it is a standalone file that you run you run the Chromium web browser from and then yeah you can see that the build revision and you can see it was updated 48 minutes ago. So this update process can take place numerous, it can be updated through numerous times of the day. So as I said, it is bleeding edge and tremendously buggy. So it's right off the shelf, so to speak. And you get different versions you get for Windows, Mac, um, Linux, and obviously Android. And some of the pros and cons about the Chromium web browser is that the pros are it doesn't track browsing data so unlike google chrome which obviously does track a lot of your browsing data um, the chromium web browser doesn't track your browsing data it is open source and then obviously it gets more frequent updates as i mentioned here this gets updated daily and um, uh, numerous times a day and um, you can see the last one was 48 minutes ago now some of the cons of the chromium web browser or that updates need to be downloaded and installed manually, which I've already mentioned. So, you know, it's just the, you just have to go and do it manually, which can become a little bit tedious, but 
you know, if, if you want the bleeding edge, then obviously it's worthwhile. And there is no built-in support for media codecs. So you can't just go play YouTube and, and other, um, you know, media services in uh, the Chromium web browser. You have to go and get your own codex to use in the Chromium web browser. Now, as I mentioned, um, the Chromium web, uh, Chromium is made basically for web developers as well as highly advanced users so it's mainly used for testing and experimenting to see um, you know the what's the latest bleeding edge technology when it comes to the chromium project and just like google chrome canary which i feature a lot on this channel and it's also quite bleeding edge you know, it's it's a pre-release unstable version of the Google Chrome browser called Chrome Canary. And you also get in Google Chrome, you get the um, the dev channel, the beta channel, and the uh, obviously the stable release version. Now, you can see if we go to the three-dotted menu in Chrome Canary and we go to about Google Chrome, you can see that we are on version 92.4487. Now, if I go to the Chromium browser and I go about Chromium, you can see that we are now on 92.4489. So it is, as I mentioned, um, even more up to date than the actual Google Chrome Canary web browser, which is considered cutting edge as well. Now, some of the features in Chromium, as you can see, it looks very similar to a standard Google Chrome web browser. You know, you can enable experiments where, you know, you can do that in the flags. And then if you just go to your settings, you'll see that you cannot sign into the Chromium web browser with, say, your Google account. It is a local account. And if you want to use, you know, Google G, uh, Gmail or YouTube, you have to obviously sign into that platform um, in Gmail or YouTube. You cannot sign into the Chromium web browser anymore with your Google account and gain access as a whole to those services. And then you can see here in Sync and Google services, there's a lot less phone in home, so to speak, that um, Google does a lot of. There's a lot less here that, um, as I say, one of the pros is that it doesn't track your browsing data. You get all the other little options that you'll see in any standard Google Chrome web browser. So as I say, the two are very similar in their features. But obviously, um, there is a lot less Google in the Chromium web browser. And obviously, this is the trunk build and basically the mothership of all the other Chromium-based web browsers that are out there today. So I hope you found this video useful. I just wanted to explain because I keep talking a lot about Chromium-based web browsers. And I just, in case you didn't know, I just wanted to share this with you just to give you a little bit more of a better picture of what Chromium actually is. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.